Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Kai's Rack as German East Asia. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we have given Nanjik some guns. Which I'm assuming they have accepted, or else we probably would have got some sort of pop-up saying that they refused. And it looks like they should win their war. They're pushing back to left Kumantang pretty easily. Uh, the Shanqing Taogao. They're kind of in a stalemate, but that's okay. The Yunnan clique. They do like us. But there is a chance. Why do you actually like us? We're the same ideology? Yeah. You know, the same ideology modifier doesn't really make any sense. Given the context of what we are, but that's fine. You don't have an coup. The colonial mark will go through soon. We want to get our way down to one of these investments so we can actually, uh... Start probably doing, like, the military force. Or maybe get some more guns from the Germans. Yan Bao Mutiny. Declare martial law in all of Indochina. Concentrated force to crush these bandits. Today, some Tonkis garrisoned in Yanbai, military ports near the Sino Indo Chinese border. Organized a mutiny against the colonial officials. Uh, along with them are armed infiltrators of the VNQDD. War support. You know what? Declare martial law in all of Indo China. I want to also move my troops to maybe make sure they actually have a port. In case the entire island rises up against them, which I think might be. Theoretically possible. Okay, I'll move these guys down south a little bit. So as long as they have a port, because I don't want, like, if the entire place rises up against us. I mean, I've never seen that happen, but it might be theoretically possible. But keep our troops down here. Five prop troops in every province. Seems pretty good. And again, my, my goal here is just crush the VNQDD. As fast as humanly possible. Okay, so we got a colonial mark. Yeah, okay, now this one actually will be removed. Fair enough. So we'll share our burden, 35 days. 50 political power. I don't know what I'm really going to do with that, to be honest with you. I guess we'll have to limit the conscription. That's something that we could do. Get a little bit more recruited population, because our recruited population is garbage. Or go to, like, early mobilization, maybe? That's also something that we could theoretically do. So we're slowly just stockpiling everything up, because we are going to need a little bit of everything. What kind of motion are we voting on? What are we voting on? Um... What country are the voting... What are we voting I don't know if we voted or not. And I don't see anywhere where we can vote, so I'm assuming we don't get a say because we're a puppet state. Which is understandable. But hopefully, I mean, everybody's saying yes to it. Only one, someone, only one person said no, but I don't know who that is. And I still do not know why Flanders gets a vote at all. Instability in uh, Indochina. Calm before the storm. The Viet Cong. They want to rise up, but I'm not so worried about it. Unless I've accidentally made them more powerful than they normally are. Which is not an impossibility. Who are you guys? You are... A very small infantry division. I'm actually just going to remove this entirely. Like, get out, of, get out of here. You're kind of bad. You got artillery. You got panzers. You are also kind of garbage as well, but apparently we can't train you. You're special. Oh, did it actually say here what the motion was and I just did not read it? Probably. Is this new? Because when we played as Germany and we played as Austria, we did not get any say in um, what was allowed to happen. The Soviet Union declared war on Russia. That is fine. As long as, as, long as it keeps the Reichspack safe. In fact, how is that looking? I don't see anybody up here thinking about joining up with the um, Third International. We will see what um, Switzerland does. There's a chance that they could. 
Ukraine, do we know what you're doing? You're inviting Khrushchev to government. They always invite Khrushchev. Like, every single time Ukraine does that. The Finland's took a large chunk out of Russia. We'll see if maybe these other guys down here will do the same as well. Bologna join the Reich's Pact. That means Slander Polonia doesn't exist, right? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen then to their vote. Not that it probably really matters at all. Let's get some pacification in the area that's probably going to rise up against us. Probably don't want to send in the army. Let's go for... I mean, it's it's 1%, but it's 1% modified by negative 85%. So, realistically, this is what? 1... Like, 0.17% recruit population. That's actually hot garbage. Let's go to early mobilization, because that's a lot better. But a coup d'etat in Siam. Poland select a new king. That's all fine. Like, I I mean, Siam's right there. And the Dutch... Why did you declare one of the Netherlands? What happened? Why are you at war with the Dutch? I have no idea, but I don't want to... Um, well, how many troops does Jesse's Indies have? 6 to 11, huh? But like, why are you at, I don't know why you're at war. I guess I'm going to be sending these five divisions down to... Here, and I'm gonna send three divisions to Singapore. But I'm not too sure what happened. Jailbreak in Paulo Cordo uh, Condor. Are you at war with Germany as well? You are. So get our troops in position at least. Because I want to. Um, I want to be at the peace table when the, when the when the war actually. How many? You have like nobody in your country. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Okay, as soon as you land in Singapore, we should be good. Done with you. We'll research. I'm gonna read this in a second. I'm gonna research something probably in here. It's still August. We still got some time. Let's go for superior firepower. Seems like a clear place to begin. The Bin Din Commune Movement. Um, send in the troops, probably, right? Yeah, we cannot trust the Viet Cong. Send in the troops. We will join you in the war. I have no idea. Can I have no idea what this war is actually about? Well, that's okay. If we can, you know, get a uh, quick victory here. You're going to try attacking us. I don't think that's going to work very well. How did Flanders capitulate? Oh, no, Flanders... Oh, because Flanders was... Okay, I see what happened. Somehow... The Dutch took control of Flanders, and Germany declared war over it. That's understandable. I understand what's happened now. It still is very strange, but I at least know what's happened. Is that it? Because I wasn't able to get to the Dutch East Indies fast enough, I don't get anything. That's, uh... Yeah, well, let's pass a bunch. I'm just gonna give Germany everything. Do I not get the col- Like, the colonies are just now independent? No, there's still a colony of... Dutch who are now over here. 
I don't... sure. I'm, I'm very confused, actually. I'm going... this might be a little bit cheap. I'm gonna mark all states of this country and give them to me. I feel like that makes sense, and that's realistically what would happen. Is that cheating? Maybe, but... Okay, so they've risen up against us. Damn the Viet Cong. Declare war upon us. Move all our troops to this front line. You guys are now going to go here. Get all of our troops to the north. Delete this. You know, China's clear independence. The rule of war. Shot everything that moves. Attack bonus against via comp. You know what? I don't think we need it. Like, how many men do you have? 16 to 31. Actually, that's a ton. Holy hell. How do you have so many? Maybe I've been, like, unfairly brutalizing you. Cannot join this war. I did not think you'd rise up with that many men, to be completely honest. People are declaring war on each other. Genji and cliques erupted in the war. I don't even know which one that is. It's you. Okay, that's fine. Draw offensive line towards Saigon. I mean, we should still have it. Um, their troops are kind of bad compared to ours. I mean, our manpower is still horribly low. But we should be able to push our way through. Probably going to put some troops back here. Something like this. We're 89. Got some troops coming in here. Okay, so we've won this battle. Okay, you know, we're, we're doing okay. Please come up and around. All of you're here. You two are on this front. Delete this plan. That's attack in this direction. I would really like more people to come help me out. Our troops are moving in now. Do not um, strategically redeploy. Just put some troops down here that are like just normal. It's 78-62-68-51. How long until you get down there? One day. Once you're down here. Guys, whole position. And we're doing okay, I think. We probably made them a little bit too tough. Like, we probably made things harder on us. So again, there's no way I can call them into this. No nations available to be called into your war. Fine. I don't need them anyway. 8271. I mean, they're, they're kind of, like, not very good. Like, most of our troops are kind of weak. But you're gonna, as soon as he's broken, you're just going to fight this other militia, right? Yeah. Pull you back. So, I mean, German, the Germans are showing up here. 
But effectively, all they're doing is just standing around because we actually cannot call them into war, unfortunately. You guys march into here. Try to defend this province if you can. See if we can get like a surround on here if we can. Uh, you don't get surrounded though. You fight this guy now. No, you fight him. You have lower organization, so you're gonna keep marching forward. And one of you is going to march in this province and try to get a surround if you can. Um, is there anything we can do right now? Some cooperation in civilian factories, which I don't think is really that important. You know, if we get to uh, colonial instability, that allows us to upgrade our soldiers. If even just a little bit. I want you still fighting him. You're marching up. I want you guys to keep pushing forward. Again, this guy doesn't count as defending this province. Because he's not actually in the war at all. But as soon as we get one guy here... There we go. So we got four troops around. That should more or less, I think, be the end of the war now. Um, that's most of their troops just kind of dead. You guys hold position. And this promise is not held by anybody in our faction. That's a little bit worrying. We do got to worry about that. Um, ninth, It's October, so you know what? Let's go for even better factories. How many men have I lost in this war? 3,000? 3 against 30k? Those are pretty good numbers if you ask me. You're definitely going to die. Something like this. Troops will march to the front lines now. Kind of wish they did not take this territory because that's a little bit... Making my front lines a little bit too uh, large. Do something like this. Their, their attack value or their defense value is like pretty high. But honestly, it could be like a lot worse. Uh, let's go for better artilleries. I think we do have a decent amount of artillery in our army right now. And our manpower is low, but that's not a huge surprise. We knew that coming in. Our main, again, our main goal is just to get to Saigon. I mean, I think we need to get them all the way down to, like, 0%. Yeah. We need to take literally every single province that they hold. But you know what? That's not too bad. It could be a lot worse. Like, but the fact that two and three divisions are actually beating out six defenders... I think, at least, that's pretty good. Can one guy defeat these two, do you think? What about two? I mean, it's theoretically possible. How about you just keep pushing into here? You're going to march your way down south now. Well, at least push them out of uh, Stung Tren. I feel like we're doing pretty good. Again, like, I would have taken all that territory because I think... If I had got access to Dutch East Indies, like if I had walked one province in, like I would have been able to take all of it. And that's why I that's why I do not feel bad about taking this territory, in case anybody's wondering. I feel like if we took even one province in, we would have been allowed to annex all of it. So that's just that's just the way the game mechanics work in uh Hearts of Iron 4. Jack Free's been elected president of the United States. Not great for us. But, I mean, it means there's going to be, like, a four-way civil war regardless, which is actually is good for us. Or is it? I don't know. Depends on if what the United States actually does. If the Huey, uh, yeah, Huey Long wins, 
maybe I think they have a chance to join the Reichs Pack, which of course is the best outcome for us personally. You guys are doing pretty good. I don't think we can do two promises on you. These do not connect, unfortunately. Push in like this. You have 4981. You're not actually getting anything done. So I'll be you help push into here. Norway joined a third international. I was hoping that they wouldn't. I saw that they were market liberal, so I assumed that they had gone down a different path, but I guess not, unfortunately. We didn't join the Reichs pack. Okay, so that, that that's all pretty good for us then. Norway is probably not going to be a threat in any regard. We can maybe take Saigon now. But it's 65%. Again, it doesn't really matter if we only take... If we take Saigon. I mean, actually, it'll make two nice pockets. So, actually, it's pretty important. But we do need to take... Every single province away from them. No, do not retreat. Do not let them retreat into Saigon. We need Saigon ourselves. Where are you going? You're going over here. That should be fine. 9,000 against 100k. Numbers are pretty good on us. The, oh, we actually have a bunch of things we can do as well. Uh... Destruction of the Jilhar Causeway? I don't think we need to do that. I think it's fine. We're like, we're winning. There's no problem here. German blockade, the shelling of Saigon. Here, we'll, we'll shell Saigon. I think it's fine. What's the strength do? Deploy Zeppelins, Vampire goes down. I actually don't think we need to do any of this now. Singapore, create East Asian unit in Singapore. Nah, I think we're just fine. We do have some guys retreating into Saigon. Which is not really what I was after. We're like 90%. 92. Uh, one infantry division is going to say here. You fight them off. Yeah, retreat this way. That's much better for me. But with the fall of Saigon, two beautiful pockets have now appeared. So those guys are completely dead. And I think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. My name is Anthony. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not enjoyed, please thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.